Welcome to my talk. My name is Nina Gegenhofer and I will give a talk about petrographic coded correlations in petrophysics. I am working at the Montana Universität Leoben in Austria. For us at the university, petrophysics starts in the laboratory, where we have the possibility to derive various data. The laboratory is used for courses of students as well as for research purposes. A good database is the best starting point for further correlations, interpretation or new developments. In this talk, I will first give you a short introduction to the topic, followed by the basic and model concept and the idea behind. The third part will show you some results of the petrographic coded model. Petrophysics refers to the research on the physical properties of rocks the experimental and theoretical derivation and their correlations. Many practical applications are based on correlation between measured data from geophysical measurements and properties questions, for example, reservoir properties. Petrophysical applications are important in various geoscience, petroleum, geothermal and geotechnical fields, uh, as well as geological and hydrogeological uh, projects, just to mention a few. The petrographic coded model concept is new and was first applied for the correlation of thermal conductivity and other properties. We carried out as a starting point of this idea hundreds of measurements on various rock types, from sandstone to carbonates and magmatic and metamorphic rock types. We measured thermal conductivity with a transient method, compression and shear wave velocity with an ultrasonic device, electrical resistivity, effective porosity and permeability, as well as bulk and grain density. One important task of petrophysical research is to derive properties wanted from measured properties. Uh, one important task of petrophysical research is to derive properties like porosity or thermal conductivity from measured properties like velocity or resistivity. Difficulties result from complicated rock composition like minerals and fluids and complicated internal rock structure, including pores or fractures. All relationships are controlled by these two influence, influences. Rock composition, petrography, mineralogy, and the petro, which is the petrographic code and the internal geometry structure fractures pores as inclusions, which can be added as, with models. As mentioned before, the philosophy of the petrographic coded model concept was first developed for the correlation between thermal conductivity and other properties. Experiments and comparisons showed that a pure volumetric approach, solid and fluid, is not enough. Additional influences of the geometric orientation of the rock components need to be included. Geologists do this using texture, texture and structure. Combining mineralogy with structure and texture delivers petrography. So therefore, this model can express the effective properties of the solid components determined by the mineral composition, which is the petrographic code, using mixing rules or experimental determination properties. And the second part is the influence of the distributed fluid components, fractures and pores, mathematically included by model equations. Models are used in petrophysics to understand and explain the various influences and for the derivation of the correlation between different properties. They are simplified concerning the internal geometry. Therefore, we had a two-step model. Step first is the starting point where we have all the individual parameters of the singular properties like the elastic or thermal properties of the minerals. This can be realized with two different approaches. On the one hand, we have the empirical one from the experimental data, where we can extrapolate to zero porosity, or we have the possibility to use mixing rules, combining properties and volume fractions of the minerals to an effective solid material property using data from the literature. The second step is the implementation of fluid components or end defects or pores uh, of the solid host material. Literature offers therefore a broad spectrum of different model types. 
For our petrographic uh, coded model concept, we have a first, as first part the volume of the solid host material, and as a second step, we include uh, inclusions and or defects. In this presentation, I just will focus on the inclusions model. For the modeling of the pores or fractures, innumerable model approaches can be used. We decided to use inclusion models. For modeling the compressional wave velocity, the approach by Budiansky and O'Connell was applied. On this slide, I just show you the two main basic equations to derive the compressional and shear modulus, where the epsilon covers the aspect ratio, which defines the inclusions and gives us an idea of the porosity. The second model uh, for the calculation of the thermal properties was the inclusion model by Clausius Mossotti. Again, I just presented two main equations for the calculations, where the RMI covers the porosity effect in different directions. A third equation, which was applied for the correlation between thermal conductivity and electrical resistivity, was Archie's law. Especially for carbonates, these calculations worked pretty well. Archie's law is an empirical equation compared to the inclusion models, which combines the porosity resistivity of the water saturated sample and the water resistivity. On this slide, you see the results from the correlation of thermal conductivity and compressional wave velocity for magmatic metamorphic rock types. Dots are measured data. The lines uh, show the calculated correlation lines for the singular rock types of the two inclusion models presented before. The green one is the diorite, gabbro and basalt. Uh, the red one is the one for granite and gneiss with lower quartz content. And the blue one is the one for granite and gneiss with higher quartz content. We had to divide those because of the high thermal conductivity of quartz and therefore the high influence on thermal conductivity of the complete thermal conductivity of the rock. The arrow indicates now the petrographic coded influence. So we have a different uh, petrographic code for the three uh, correlation lines. The black line now shows you the increase of porosity so on the right hand side you see um, the solid host material with no porosity and along the arrow it increases porosity with the models. The same plot is now presented for sandstone, so thermal conductivity versus compressional wave velocity. Sandstone shows a higher thermal conductivity and again you see the dots with the measured data and the line is the correlation line with calculated from the inclusions model. The last plot with the correlation of thermal conductivity and formation factor is presented for carbonates here. We have in red the dolomite with the higher thermal conductivity and in blue the limestone. A clear separation between these two becomes visible. On the left side you see thermal conductivity versus uh, formation factor. The lines are again correlation lines calculated with the inclusions model for Clausius Mossotti and with the RG equation. On the right hand side you see the uh, thermal conductivity calculated versus measured to get a better impression of the fit of the data. So the question is now what can we do with all these correlations? Thermal conductivity can hardly be determined in the borehole. Therefore a correlation with a property which can easily be measured in the borehole can help. If we know the rock type and have a sonic lock, for example, we can now easily calculate a thermal conductivity lock. An example can be seen here. The data are from the Continental Deep Drilling Project from Germany. They measured a lot of uh, thermal conductivity values on course two. So you see these data on the right side with the black dots and what you see additionally is the calculated thermal conductivity lock out of the sonic lock. The green lock part is the calculated thermal conductivity for a meter per seat section and the blue one for Gneiss section. 
Now enough from thermal conductivity and I will show you first results focusing on elastic properties including the petrographic code. The so-called rock physics template where the ratio of compression shear wave velocity versus acoustic impedance is plotted can be used as interpretation tool for pore fluid and lithology identification. The first rock physics template was presented by Odegaard and Afsted in 2004 and was focusing on sandstone with gas or water in the pore space and on shale. What we did is now we developed a new one for carbonates which show a higher VPVS ratio and a higher acoustic impedance. You see on the left side the dry data uh, the dots are again measured data and the lines are correlation lines with hash and Strickman bounds where you see the upper bound, the 75 percentage of the upper bound and 50 percentage of the upper bound. On the right side you see the saturated data, they show a higher acoustic impedance and a higher VPVS ratio and again you see uh, the different uh, hash and Strickman bounds for the correlations. The last plot I want you to show are the first data focusing again on magmatic and metamorphic rock types, which are mainly important in geotechnical and geothermal projects. What we wanted to do is to use the rock physics template to see a clear separation between uh, the different lithologies, so the, using the petrographic code again. The data separation in the so-called rock physics template delivers a clear separation again between dry and brine saturated data and this separation is strongest for VPVS ratio as expected. The acoustic impedance has a bigger influence of the mineral properties which is normally more sensitive with respect to lithology. This plot leads to discrimination also concerning the different lithologies. As I said before, this plot just shows you the first results of uh, this rock physics templates for magmatic and metamorphic rock types. And we are focusing on further work on this topic. Coming to the conclusion and outlook, the petrographic coded model concept can become a powerful tool for data interpretation in various geoscientific fields. It can help to understand various influences for the different petrophysical properties, not only thermal, but also elastic and maybe focusing also on electrical properties. Inclusion models are one possibility to derive model-based relationships and they demonstrate both properties, the mineral composition and fractures or porosity. Still a lot of work needs to be carried out in the future. Thank you for watching this e-lecture.